Here we go. So, we have an interesting director's take today. I, I have heard from console players for a long time now that there's been issues with, like, playing against players who are mouse and keyboard on um, console. Obviously, some people have to do that, like, for legitimate reasons, but, like, a lot of people have said it's a struggle, right? Where they'll play against a lot of players who are, like, using that. So, apparently, this is Overwatch team addressing that. So, we'll see what it is. Hey, everyone. And sorry if I butcher their names here. Uh, senior game producer Adam Massey or Macy and lead gameplay engineer Daniel Raza here. Subbing in for Aaron this week. We're going to share some updates on fair play for console players in Overwatch 2 regarding the issue of unapproved peripherals. What are unapproved peripherals? Our goal is for Overwatch 2 to be a great experience no matter what platform you play on. The game feels best when matches are close and competitive and everyone plays on a level, level playing field. To help achieve this, we've tailored the game experience on console by adding console-specific features such as aim assist, which, of course, when you're on console, you're going to need that. Like, it just, it just helps with that. Which helps bridge the difference in precision of aim between a mouse and a controller. And from everything I've heard, I don't know if they've changed it over the, like, past year. If I'm correct, Overwatch 2 doesn't have the most aggressive aim assist in comparison to a game like Apex, for example. I'm just kind of comparing, like, like aim assist. I think Overwatch doesn't have as aggressive as an aim assist as other games. It, like, there's an aim assist, but it, like, isn't as aggressive, right? Like, it's good, but it's not like, you know, you're aimbotting the whole time, etc. Right? Like, it, 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 it's, it, it can be precise, but it's, it still isn't as strong as, like, other, um, you need the aim assist to work harder, actually? Yeah, exactly. So, but anyway... Unfortunately, some players on console have been using devices that allow them to use a mouse and keyboard while tricking the console into thinking that the inputs are coming from a controller. Now, every single season, I always see, like I said, people mention that, like, hey, have you heard anything about, like, Zimmin? Or have you heard anything about, like, what's going on with that? And they've always said, we have something in store, but, like, they, they don't know to talk about it yet, right? You see it on Twitter all the time. While some use different peripherals for accessibility purposes, which is understandable, some players take advantage of aim assist while using peripherals that were never intended to benefit from this feature. So what they mean is you have aim assist, but you're also on mouse and keyboard. So you have like the built-in aim assist, and then you have mouse and keyboard while playing on console. For our purposes, we call these devices unapproved peripherals. Obviously not going to name off the exact companies. Today, we're going to look at how we detect the use of unapproved peripherals and the actions we're going to take to level the playing field for all players. So we'll see what they have in store. Detecting unapproved peripherals. Figuring out which players are using unapproved peripherals has been a challenge for us to overcome. These devices are designed in such a way that consoles are unaware of them and often have anti-detection features designed to make them even more elusive to catch. We have been carefully studying these devices to ensure we have high confidence in our ability to detect who is using them. Now, this will be interesting because I imagine... If they do any type of bans, there probably will be moments where somebody gets banned when they have to use it for what they said here, like accessibility um, reasons. But hopefully that's not the case. But yes. So while we won't go into specific detail on exactly how we detect, detect these devices. Yeah, I'm probably saying peripherals wrong. It just just bear with me. I'm just, I'm whatever. Uh, we can say, I know how to say it, but I'm just sometimes as words. They ever have like those words that like you'll pronounce them and you know how to pronounce them. But then when you say, when you go to pronounce the word, it does not what you're thinking as you're saying, like, you know what I mean? Like it's not matching up to what you're supposed to. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. Like I know how to pronounce the word, but then when I speak the word, it's just like, nope, no, we ain't doing that. Good luck. Uh, we can say that our detection. Okay. So while we won't go into any specific detail on how we exactly detect these devices, which of course they can't because it's that back and forth. We can say that our, de our detection has already been in place for multiple seasons passively gathering data for us to analyze. Now that we have gathered the data we need, we can finally talk about how we plan to deal with the use of these unapproved peripherals. Based on our data from the past few seasons, usage of unapproved not using a controller is highly apparent in high-ranked play, typically at Grandmaster or Champion rank being the highest. So apparently a lot of players in, in GM and Champion have been using that. In, in console, while usage of unapproved peripherals between bronze and platinum ranks was very rare. So they're saying that bronze to plat isn't happening a lot. From diamond above, it's happening more frequently. For this reason, the actions we, will, we take will be primarily targeted to help ensure fair play at higher ranks. A quick discla disclaimer on users with accessibility needs... It is important to us that Overwatch 2 be accessible to as many players as possible. And we want to recognize that for a few players. The use of an unapproved peripheral may be necessary component of their control setup, which is totally understandable. 
We have done our ut- uh, our utmost to ensure that players with accessibility needs will be less likely to trigger our detection. If a player with accessibility needs is detected, we have tailored our actions so that these players will be able to continue playing Overwatch 2. I do want to say one thing that's important here is that I hope that there's a really quick system in place that if somebody does have like reasons they have to use something like that, that they aren't banned for like a month while trying to get back into the game, right? If that 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 obviously is the concern there, but obviously we don't know what detection systems they have, etc. Removing unapproved perif removing unapproved not using a controller from competitive play. Starting in season 11, players who were detected using this stuff on a console will be actioned in two phases. The first time a player is detected, I'm, I'm done. I've said that word 20 times already. I think we, I, I can't do it anymore. I ain't doing it. The first time a player is detected, they will be restricted from competitive on console for one week. Okay. Players will still have access to quick play during this time. And if they cease using the unapproved equipment, the restriction will eventually expire and they will be able to resume playing comp. So if you get caught using those, don't use it again, and you'll be back in the comp. However, if the use of the unapproved stuff continues, not only will the player be restricted from competitive on console, but they will be forced to play with other mouse and keyboard players when playing in quick play for the entire season. So the second punishment is, hey, if you keep using it, you get to go play quick play with people on mouse and keyboard. Additionally... These players will no longer have access to the aim assist feature. They are welcome to continue playing Overwatch 2, but they will be playing against players who use a similar control setup to their own. Taking immediate action. What about the use of unapproved stuff before Season 11? (laughs) Listen, I'm not going... Listen, I've tried. I'm not doing it. Over the next few weeks, there will be permanent account bans against players who are the most severe abusers of unapproved... Was the, was the, someone give me pronunciation. I'm going to get this one right. Unapproved stuff. Unapproved. I, I know what the, it, the, the, but am I saying peripheral right? Unapproved peripheral. Okay, so you're going to get banned, by the way. Yeah, we did it, chat. Go us. Yeah, I'm a streamer, chat. It's no big deal. We know how to say words and things. It's no big deal. What can I say? Anyway, yeah, basically, if you're using like a Zim or something and you've been using it for a while now, you're going to get banned. Basically, over the next few weeks, there will be a permanent bans for people. And I'm sure you're going to start seeing tweets of people being like, oh, I got banned. What's going on? That might be the reason. Or they said, or they said like a swear word. But either way, these actions will be targeted towards high rank players who have been reported by others and who our data clearly shows are using an unapproved not controller. A reminder that per our Blizzard in-game code of conduct, automate in any facet of the game or engage in any activity that grants an unfair advantage it's is considered cheating for console players using the unapproved stuff who do not want their account banned the only way to evade these bans is to cease using an unapproved thing right now there will be no other warnings so i'll just put it right here by the way you said am i not a native english speaker did i not attend a primary school sometimes like there's just words that i struggle to say sometimes even though i know how to say it I just try to struggle to say it. I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, we recognize that many players use unapproved peripherals to enable input devices they simply prefer overall. So we have started discussing whether we can add official mouse and keyboard support to consoles in a way that doesn't give these players an unfair advantage over their controller counterparts. Right now, for competitive, console players play in a separate pool from PC. So in order to allow console players who would like to use a mouse and keyboard legitimately, we would make sure they would be able to play in competitive matches only with other mouse and keyboard users and without the benefit of aim assist. So what they're saying is if people just, they want to make it, if I'm understanding this correctly, they want to make it so if people do decide to use things like Xam or like mouse and keyboard, that the game allows them to play but can detect that they have that and then they have to play on PC basically from console. Is that what I'm understanding? So basically like they'll be forced to play with other mouse and keyboard users with no aim assist or they'll be like stuck like so basically basically what they're saying is like if you do this we're not going to put you in an aim assist game with console players they're going to be on their own and you 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 won't be able to do that and then ruin the game that way final thoughts we are committed to making overwatch 2 a fair game for everyone regardless of what platform you play or on the input device you choose to use these changes are a step in the right direction of leveling the playing field for all players we continue to evolve our detection and action against unapproved peripherals, and other means of unfair play. Keep an eye out 
for how our efforts are progressing in future defense matrix updates. Thanks for reading and let's make a great game. <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell what people are more excited about that on console. Now you don't have to worry about Zim or that by the end of the article, I can say peripherals. I don't know who's, I don't know who's more excited. <laughs> peripherals, peripherals, peripherals. We did it. Oh man. And there you go. I mean, that's it. Right, real talk. It is a huge change. For, for like them to like look into the unapproved peripherals. I know a lot of players have complained about it. It's actually been something that like feedback wise, whenever we do like Q and A's, whenever we do something, it's always like, is there anything they're gonna do about Zimmin? This is like their first stance on that. So I, I think players will probably be happy with this. Obviously the people who are using the Zim will have a different take on that, but they want to make it fair for people on console and they're this is their step in the right direction for that, so.